What's going on YouTube? In this tutorial, I just want to show you how you can adjust the display units for the Y-axis in Microsoft Excel. So that way, the numbers are shown in thousands or millions instead of just plain old numbers like you see right here. So we have an example. World population by year from 1951 to 2020. And as you can see in the Y-axis, there are a whole bunch of zeros. To clean this up and have this displayed in millions instead of just plain old numbers, we first right-click on the axis. Then you have this menu pop up. You're going to click Format Axis at the bottom right here. And once this menu pops up, you're going to want to click on the three bars on the right over here. And under the grouping axis options, you're going to go to the bottom. And there you can see an option that says Display Units right here. And this is where you can make that adjustment. Click on this drop down menu. We can see our different options. And as you can see, not only are there different units that you can break your data down by, but you can have different ways of displaying it. So let's just say we wanted this in millions. We can click on this millions right here. And as you can see, after you click on that, now it's in thousands millions, um, and it has the words millions. Or we can just click on times a million right there, or times a billion, excuse me. Uh, but as you can see, now it adjusts or times a million. But yeah, whatever number this is right here. But as you can see, you can have a numeric or words. As you can see, you can have just billions and then the numbers like that. Or you can have just um, kind of the numeric values. And, and as you can see, it, it's going up by 10. And so we have thousands, 10,000, 100,000, millions, 10 millions, 100 millions, billions, or trillions. Um, so yeah. So as I said, I hope you found this to be helpful. And if you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.